Oh no! Nightmare zone? Why would he go in there? That's the hard mode. That is the maximum difficulty mode in State of Decay 2. What is he thinking? Welcome to Nightmare Zone episode 40, where we're going to be doing some thinking. And that's because last episode I asked what weapons I should use to blow up some plague hearts, and I got some answers. I've written them down, and that's who's going to get the shoutouts today. The shoutouts are going to be to the suggestions that I take. There were some suggestions that I would do, but I don't have... The tool, for example, Muhammad Danish Sharzul wanted me to kill a Plagueguard with the Infinite Guard's Eternal Rage. Sure, I would absolutely do that, but I don't think I have one. I will check my inventory. Call me, Tyler wants me to kill one with the Assault Kick that you get from the Shooting Skill Assault. I would try it if... I had somebody with Assault, not a skill that I often choose. But next time I get the option to pick Assault, I'll do it. We're in trouble here. We need the Sheriff, please. Oh, uh, we got a quest right off the bat. So it looks like we'll have to handle that first, that's fine. We'll do it. Because uh, we're such we're model citizens here, we're not we're not bad guys or selfish in the slightest. So we're gonna go ahead and help those guys first. I'm gonna reload these before my OCD kicks in too much more than it already has. And let's get them on guard duty. Ah, Dev grew. And Caleb, you're up. Let's go ahead and cure your Good. I need you over here, like right away. There we go. Why is it so weird looking? Oh, I bet my gamma is up. Alrighty. Yes, if my gamma is up, then you know I was probably recording footage for other videos so that I can actually see. Which just hit me that maybe those videos will be excessively bright. I'll have to review the footage just to make sure, but... Oh my god, I, I can't live with all these partially loaded crossbows. They have to be reloaded. Okay, I don't know why I threw the ammo away. I don't know if I'm going to have to fight humans, so let's go a little heavier, especially because we have backpacking, so we don't have to worry about going into heavy carry. We do have to worry, but I mean, uh, we don't have to worry as much. And if we have to fight humans, of course, we're going to need some floater cloud grenades. Possibly a scent block as well. Not that we have a problem with that, given that we had so many of them. Might as well heal up this small smidgen of life as well. I'm sure we have a ton of... Look at that, we got 94. I can't really keep an eye on all this stuff until we get more storage. What are we over capacity on? Nothing. They're lying to me. Misinformation. Where are they? They're down over here. Technically, they're near some play guards as well, so... Maybe we can uh, kill a few birds with one stone. I enjoy starting the game in the daytime, that's for sure. Gotta love... Uh, I like specifically starting in the daytime. I like being greeted by daylight. It, it gives the episode a more optimistic feel, or at least I think so. But yes, I have been recording more video footage. I decide that any time I get stuck on a video, what I'll do is, instead of procrastinate, I'll just start 
recording. I'll start on a step that I do know exactly what I need to do on, and so I've been working on more Heartland content. I'm working on two videos right now, so three in total. I'm still working on mechanics. Been dragging my heels on creating the fuel consumption map. But, uh... Instead, I have recorded the stuff for the Jurassic Junction base review. And I am ready to start recording the Echo series weapons, because I know that's pretty much the only thing that you get as a reward. And since it's like the only thing you get as a reward, that might be a motivator for why you would buy that DLC. Plus, reviewing it will allow me to better get an idea for a video idea I've got coming up, a DLC guide. Basically a 2019 buyer's guide. What DLC should you buy, if any at all? Recommendations for who should and should not buy a particular DLC. And to do that, I do need to take a look at some of the rewards you get from Heartland. Because, you know, some people really like collecting guns, and some of those guns might actually be pretty good. They might actually be worth collecting. Over here. Hands over your head. Nice and slow. No need for anyone to get jumpy. Let's not go near that zombie over there. What are these guys going on about? I don't remember this quest. Uh, okay, I need to talk to Brooke. Someone's getting beat up over there. We had this place staked out, but before we could go in, this maniac showed up and grabbed everything. I could see how that might lead to trouble. Stay back. I'm guessing that's the maniac, or the group of maniacs. A solution for this. Mm -hmm. It's time. Ah. Oh. Yo, anyone wants to trade? We got that stupid quest. Well, is the quest going to advance or not? <laughs> Don't tell me this quest is also glitched. Are the are the sheriff quest just bugged? Hun. Got anything useful you're looking to unload? Sure, sounds good. This quest is. Oh my god. It's like, here I am trying to be a nice person and help people, but. Oh my god. They're questioned, they just have to bug out. Well, while this quest figures out what the heck is wrong with it, we're going to continue with the original plan, because I know that that quest for, like, the zombie guys, that one, I don't think it expires anytime soon. Doesn't expire anytime soon. In fact, let's also just take that off, because I'm already tired of seeing the dead quest. Okay, so... First on the list is a suggestion from... Joseph Stalin. And he wants me to use the thermite grenades. Let's see how many we've got. We have... A big fat zero of thermite grenades, so we're gonna have to make some. Let's go here. Requires four fuel and six. Let's see if six is enough. If six is not enough, that will be a little disappointing. And, uh, well, let's go with two at a time. The next one is also, they want to see me use the repeating crossbow to kill one of them. So let's... Let's try, basically, 70, 70 arrows. If 70 arrows won't kill a plague art, that will be a little disappointing once again. But also, probably not too surprising. You know, it, it could be a, uh... 
a not too good weapon. Let's go ahead and make a cure. And I'm going to carry it with me. In case something dumb happens. Something dumb could definitely happen. So we got two play guards in this basic area, so not too bad. Oh yeah, and uh, I forgot to give the shout out. It was... So Joseph Stalin, as I said, he wants us to torch these play guards with the thermite grenades. And uh, Marcus and GRX... BZY, we're just, I don't know, we're, he's gonna need a nickname, because that, that name takes too much effort to say. His name's gonna be Grr, because that's the first two letters of his name, Grr. And, uh, anyways, let's first, let's, let's deal with this first. Okay, this is about where I was expecting it to be. Okay, let's... Now, if I remember right, thermite grenades, they don't have a very large burn radius, so I can actually get pretty close to them. It's funny, you can kind of hear it hitting repeatedly. Not quite as on target as I would have liked, but it's still clearly burning it. Oh, I'm worried that the next one is going to burn me. Oh, don't get near me, don't get near me, don't get near me, don't get near me. Ooh, this is not a great spot. Ah! I need to burn the... Uh, do I need to... Yes, I do. This guy needs to go. Need to go. Okay. Back in. Let me back up a little bit. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't get closer. It's damaged. You gotta keep at it. That was number three. No, stop setting me on fire. Okay, here comes number four. No, don't kick. Jump out of the building. Okay, so it took four. And let's double check the price. Thermite grenades. So out of the six thermite grenades we got, and that's that's with the munitions bonus, so we probably would have gotten four. I don't know how many we would have gotten, actually. Maybe we've gotten three. I would say it was, uh, you know... Below average in effectiveness is uh, what I would rate it. But also not terrible. I mean, it could have been worse. I think three would have been a little more, a better number if it burned it in three. I think that would have been okay, because you could run into a situation where you're low on fuel, or you're, you're supplied on fuel, but you're low on ammo, and so you don't want to use ammo to destroy a play guard as much but in that case you might even try something else you might even try a different incendiary but this time we're going to be using the repeating crossbow let me see who wanted me to try that it was yes gr x v m that guy Let's see if 70 bolts are capable of bringing a play guard down. Here it is. It's in the bathroom. Not the most convenient place, but maybe I can stealthily shoot it from here. Here we go. We've got 68 shots. Wow, make sure I'm hitting it. When we needed help, the sheriff stepped up. Drop off a little something from time to time. It's 20 shots. Okay, okay, so every time I sh damage it, 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 look at it, it's lighting up, that's interesting.
Oh my god, this guy's like blocking my view. I'm just gonna shoot him, he's in the way. Time to reload. I lost count. You'll have to count for me. Okay, so we have finally caused some sign of damage to it. Time to reload. This is my last mag. Could be a problem later. That's it. Oh god. Okay, we need to, uh... Oh, it's not daytime. No! It's becoming nighttime! Why would they do this to me? They would, they would... Make me think it's daytime, but it's actually becoming nighttime. We gotta get more arrows. You know, the, the job's not done. I'm not gonna leave the job half done. Or a quarter done, I think. Who knows? That, it doesn't seem very effective. But, you know, uh... That's the experiment. We gotta go get more ammo. It might just be my good mood, but... Now, they did reduce the effectiveness of crossbows. I do remember that. They nerfed the damage that crossbows did to play guards. That said, I still probably would not have considered using this weapon against the play guard. So let's, uh... Go get another scent block. And let's go make some more ammo. Okay. Okay, now that we know that it, it it's not doing very much damage, I'm, I'm gonna bring a little more ammo this time. Let's put some of this stuff away. Okay. This should be enough to do the job. Maybe I should refuel as well. No! Stupid inventory! Give me it back. Okay. Give me- I forgot what I put in there, but okay, it's that. Yeah, we're, we're gonna take the plague here after I put on my second application of scent block. A juggernaut there as well. Should be fine though. Especially if we drive a little wide. Okay, that is a wood fence so we can go through it. Try to drive wide at least. I lost my count on the shot so I'm just gonna rely on you guys to count for me. That's a concrete wall. Scent block on. Please don't let me be Plague close. here. Okay, back in we go into this room here. Oh, here's a question. How many bolts am I gonna get back? It's damaged. Just gotta keep at it. Usually you can... Okay, so every time it, like, farts like that, that's kind of like an indicator that you've done a certain quantity of damage to it. Oh, this thing is just eating arrows up. Oh, that guy got in the way. I am a little worried. Finish that one. The fact this might not kill it. Oh my gosh! Just get out of my way. Oh, okay. So, uh, however many kill shots that was, that's how many shots it took. 
Let's see if I get any arrows back. Oh man. Oh man. Hey guys, siege underway right now. We need reinforcements. Oh man, like sounds like somebody's in trouble. How do I can I get to that? I'd probably have to loot the play guard first. That's annoying. Okay. We do have to help this guy. We're sending help. Ah, oh, why are they so far away? Well, there's play guards all over the place. We can always come back to it. No one invited this guy. What are you doing here? Actually, I might be able to loot that. Yes, that's technically eight slots. And then I can at least see how many arrows. It's empty. Let's move on. Lift this. Fifty-six arrows. Fifty-six. <laughs> oh man, that was uh, slightly inefficient. Okay, so they have 15 minutes before they die, so we can loot these and deposit this stuff and I can get my arrows back. I don't remember where the other plague art was. Because I, I wasn't bothering to memorize. I mean, it also doesn't matter. I mean, we get crap from these plague hearts anyways. I, I want my arrows back, though. Pipe bombs, the painkillers, uh, PO7 Pro, K bar, Pro bar, backpacks, samples, the uh, the basics. But honestly, if I miss a play guard, I really do not care. Completely honest. Let's pull another fuel tank from here. We don't have any, so let's go ahead and produce one. Gonna have to call a fuel guy in pretty soon. Let's go back and get my arrows, and then we'll go save those guys. And then they will either A, become a brand new community, or B, they will give us two rucksacks, both of which are acceptable. I would prefer a new community, though, because we do want to start thinking about how we could... Yeah, look at all those guys there. Like, who invited all those guys? Let's get my 56 arrows back. Now, that doesn't mean that it... Took 56 shots, like that's just the ones that were salvageable. It could have taken a lot more than that. Okay, how do we get to that location? Looks like we just have to get on this main road over here. Oh, whoa, whoa. A lot more congestion in this road than I thought. Okay, how do we get there? Ah, oh, man, we still got a ways to go. What a pain. Guess we're taking a road trip. So yeah, we got to see the thermite grenades overall. Thermite grenades, uh, not super great, but not also... I would have liked it if they destroyed him in three instead of four. But, uh, we, it took four. 
Then we tried repeating crossbow. Also not particularly good. I know we definitely did not salvage all of our arrows back. Not only was it very time inefficient, but you would have had to carry a lot of bolts in your backpack. It would have been very space inefficient and very time inefficient. Possibly you'd be able to snipe one through a window and maybe you wouldn't have to worry about counterattack and that would allow you to not have to use the scent block. But overall, it's just one of these situations where I think there are much better solutions than that. Also, the regular crossbow might be... I don't know, it, have the, it would kill it in fewer bolts for sure, but on the other hand, they take much longer to reload, so I don't even know if that would be better necessarily. Let's get this equipped so that we can burn the feral. I won't give up that easy. Hold on. Okay, there's the feral. Let's start rolling before the fire damage takes its toll. Don't know if we killed the feral. I don't think we did. Ah, uh, maybe we did actually. guy using? He's using the ultralight. The zombie invasion, I see. Got a bloater. And a bloater. Uh, let's go with the... Although killing the bloater is going to be noisy either way. It probably didn't matter. Now we just need to mop these guys up. Okay, so are they staying or are they going? You're welcome. See you soon, I hope. They're staying. They gave us extra beds. Let's see what they're selling and then see what their traits are. Hmm, book on mechanics? I buy that. Book on uh, uh, ammo? Let's just let the, the base expire then since we just bought this ammo. No need to interrupt what I'm doing. Hey. It's good to see your ugly mug. Shopping. Oh, there's another one. Hey. Herbalism or herbalism, as we say, here in the States. Ah, uh, we don't need herbalism. Hey, how you been? Utilities. Has some potential value over here, because we would be able to build a hydroponics indoors. But I don't really want it that bad, so I think these guys are going to stay as allies, which means we could take down one of these beds and add in something else, because they're giving us the additional beds. So what do we got happening? That doesn't matter. We have a trader. That's the quest that's glitched. Okay, let's target this one next. Like, all of those are like kind of like bonus objectives. None, none of those are people who need help. Except for the zombie guys. Like I said, I, I don't think their quest expires anytime soon. What's next on the list? Oh gosh. Well, this next one seems like it's going to be inconvenient. Marcus wants me to... kill a Plague Art with 
the kitchen, either the, he, one of the, so Marcus and GRVXY, they both wanted me to kill the plague art with either a chef's knife, a kitchen knife, or a K-bar. I don't know if I have a kitchen knife, but I do have a K-bar, so we will attempt to stab one to death. That could get pretty messy, but you know what? Who knows? Maybe it'll be good. It, it's not going to be good. I think we can all safely come to that conclusion, but... You know, um... We'll try it. Alrighty. Okay, we need to stock up for this one. I'm gonna need a lot more medical supplies. Where is the locker? I was probably in the kitchen. Yep. Okay, so to do this... First, I need to check a few things. Let's... We're gonna send this guy back, and we're gonna get someone out who has close combat. Who has close combat? Sword play, striking, sword play, sword play, striking, sword play. No one has close combat. Very, very interesting. So let's just play as Mackie. Because why not? I know this looks bad, but we have to fight him off. Oh, we swapped, swapped the guy back, so we actually just triggered the... Uh, I said, uh, oh well, who cares? Uh, on with the show. So first we need to make sure we're equipped with the right weapon for the job. We need... Come on, load my equipment in. Let's see what... Oh, we do have a chef's knife. Well, no, we need kitchen knife. Kitchen knife. Uh, looks like we don't have one, so we'll go with the second request, which is the K-Bar. And I am going to need a weapon to thin out the zombies that will inevitably attack. I'm going to choose... Something that won't accidentally damage the play guards. I would have used the dev grew, but... Looks like I don't have... Next wave. Here we go, people. Oh man, I'm, I'm about to sneeze, but it's like I'm not sure if I'm going to sneeze or not. Uh, I think... Who has the dev grew? I think it's Ladislaw. Yep, he has a dev grew. They switch you back to guard duty. Devgrew needs repairs. Back to Mackie. Why are we doing Mackie? Ah, just to save some fuel. No particular reason. Okay. So here we have... Where is it? Okay, Devgrew. Wait, was that the Eternal Guard's Infinite Rage right there? That was a really high-capacity AK. Preppers. Uh, so, no, we don't have the Eternal Guard's Infinite Rage. Bring a decent amount of shotgun shells. I'm gonna want stimulants so that I can swing forever. I'm gonna want a scent block. Bring two, just in case. Gonna want a cure. Probably two to be safe. Cure. And... Let me get a... one of these out. And I'll just double up my medicine. Okay, that should be enough to stab a play guard to death. Or so I think. We should probably also refuel. We're almost out of fuel to call those in, so I will need to return to base sometime this episode, and 
I should have bought the fuel canister from those guys. Not that big of a deal, though. Okay. To the next play guard, the red paneled house. Not that far away, so that's good news. Am I worried about this? Not particularly. I think the, the scent block should keep us safe. Fucking plague zombies must think they own this town. All right, it's time to stay. I'm not. I'm not even gonna bother counting. So, that's a lot of racket. Where is the heart? Here it is. Okay. Oh yeah, this extra slow attack speed. This is what it's about. This. Highly efficient combat speed, because we don't have close combat. Oh man, how many hits is it going to take to get it to... Get away from me. Oh, I can't, I don't want to risk damaging the play guard with the... the dev grew. Uh oh, it's going to fart. Okay. Why do I have such bad accuracy with guns? That's something I don't get. Okay, now I got this feral on me. Okay, so we're gonna have to back off real quick. Oh, a second one. Three of them. Uh, let's take one of our med kits. Really? Why are you stuck doing that? Where's the other... Okay, the other one is somewhere over there. This is a lot of zombies, jeez. Just... Okay. Get back in there and start stabbing it. We, we need to show it who's boss. I don't know why I picked that up. This ain't working for shit. Yep, I can see that. Get away from me, you darn zombies. It's like, making this way harder than it needs to be. Wow, look at all these zombies. We're gonna have to kill them. This is the perfect choke point, though. Switch to semi-automatic. Okay, let's finish some of these guys off. Come on, stab him. Oh my gosh, the game is just going crazy right now. Maybe I should have brought some lures with me, too. If you were wondering why you do not fight Play guards in melee combat. This is this is why. I should reload. I think we brought some extra ammo. Okay, let's go back in and start stabbing it. Come on, let's reload first. We clearly don't have gun slinging. I'm 
sorry. Are you hurting? We'll have some more. I was gonna fart again. No, don't fart on me. Oh my god, I, I couldn't dodge out of the way. That was so dumb. Time to reload. I didn't reload. Let's go stealth real quick. Because the scent block is gonna wear off and I gotta reapply it. Reapply and let's go ahead and take a cure. Stay away from the sick fucking Z's. Gonna run out of that soon. Okay. Now we can go back in and start stabbing it again. I was about to say, you better be able to climb up there. Look at all these guys. All these people who are not invited. Oh my gosh. That guy gave me a trauma. That's kind of rude. We take another, um... Oh, we're out of, uh... Okay, let's go back and resupply. Back to base. No need to risk excessive injury without med kits available. Uh, in fact, we could save a medkit by just switching characters. That's another thing we can do. Probably gonna use the sniper support as well. Damn, locked. Of course, my own outpost locked. door is locked. Let's repair the dev grew. That ate up a lot of material, or parts, rather. And let's go ahead and get him equipped for guard duty, swap him out with someone else. That's fine. So who is going to go up next? You know, who gets to uh, stab the play guard? Eric, you look like you want to stab a play guard. Okay. Let's make sure we get the uh, the requested weapon out. Get our K-Bar out. Where is uh, K-Bar? Here we go. Upgrade to the stims. And let's go ahead and use the dev gru. Where is the dev gru at? There it is. I need some ammo. Running out of ammo, unfortunately. Also does not have gunslinging. Okay, so... We have one med kit left. Probably try to avoid using it if possible. File a plague cure. Scent block. Get another cure out just in case. Wait, that's not the correct location. Here, and let's bring some firecrackers and some fuel bombs. What we should be able to do is lure them outside with the... Uh, when they start really piling up, we should be able to lure them out and burn them. Okay, after this we'll probably need to head back to base and call in for some gear.
Now, as we know, the Plague Guard does not regenerate itself. It does maintain its current level of damage, so that's a that's an advantage for us. Squish this guy real quick. Oh, I didn't squish him. Ah, oh, he still got the scream off. The scent block is on. This guy doing here? Take away from me. The the glass regenerated. Interesting. And we take it out. We need a breather. Okay, we need to. Oh God, I forgot about the bloater gas. Let's activate our stimulants. Let's also just throw one of the firecrackers away. Okay, time for a close encounter. Oh, we got it finally. Wow. That took a little bit of effort. Took a little bit of effort. You know, um that that went about as well as I thought it would go. Went about as as well as I thought it'd go. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, another request down for different methods of killing a play guard. So far, all of them have been either really bad or just kind of average. The only one that I would consider viable is the thermite grenades. Thermite grenades, the only one that impressed me at all. Let's head back to base, though, and uh, let's call in some supplies. What, what are we low on? Fuel. Need fuel. What a surprise that we need fuel in Drucker County. I'll let you guys decide, though, uh, how effective they were. You know, you know, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. I'm not going to tell you what's good and what's not, what you shouldn't be using. You know, if you want to stab enemies to death, if you want to stab play guards to death with a K-bar or a kitchen knife, which is probably the chef's knife. Probably the, uh, probably what he meant. But if that's what you want to do, then, uh, I'd say have at it. You can, uh, determine yourself the effectiveness of the K-bar attack on the play guard. You're almost home. Let's just get inside so that I can actually investigate my situation. I thought we'd had it. That stupid thing is done. Bring in zombies like stink on shit. Call in the fuel trader. Someone's at the base looking to trade. Hey folks, ready to trade if you still want this fuel. So after this, we'll probably do a quest. We're not going to do the pyro launch request. We'll probably do that. I appreciate that. Do I really need to remind all of you that we're low on fuel? Well, worry not, because we will be low on fuel not much longer. Where where are they going? Oh my gosh, make up your mind. That's that's good enough. That's good enough. Just stay right there. Just Not stop moving. Useful. You're looking to unload? Sure. Let's take this and this. 
Ah, do I have a filling machine? A filling machine could be good. This person only had like two rucksacks. What a cheapskate. Stop moving! Oh my god. The mysterious wandering trader just overrided. <sighs> what a game. What a game. Get my pyro launcher out. Hey, this one isn't damaged. Oh, we need we need an actual melee weapon. What are you? Are oh, you striking? Aren't you? Yes. Uh, let's use the Cleo mace. We haven't used that in a little bit. Let's also go ahead and cure our remaining infection. Oh, what are you doing with your mace? You know, I've heard of re reverse grip sword, you know. But reverse grip mace? Okay. Okay. Could be worse. Could be better, but I'll take what I can get. It's our capacity on ammo. 28. Transferred over. This is your man Twain, the voice of the network. Yes, I'm still here. As always, I'm reaching out to all my brothers and sisters out there. Struggling okay, let's put in two rucksacks of materials and the rucksack of medicine. But if we get stuck in the past, we got no future. I'm not telling you to forget the people we've lost along the way. A mysterious wandering trader first. Keep the faith, no matter what. And we can do the. I think we'll do the zombie, the zombie guys next time, because like, like I said, their quest isn't going to go anywhere. They're not like an urgent quest. So we'll go see what the wandering trader has for sale, and then we'll just sign out of this episode. Once again, I will pin a comment asking for more suggestions. I still got more. So the, uh, for example, Mank, Den Lord, Dean Lord. I don't know how you'd pronounce that. It's not, it doesn't look English, so it's going to get mispronounced. But he wanted me to use the PPK on a Plague Art. And that is on the to-do list. He didn't specify which PPK, so I'll just pick whichever has the highest capacity. Or I'll just use the standard PPK. But yes, I will post another thread. I will pin, uh, not thread, I'll pin a comment in this video and you can put down more suggestions for uh, things I should kill play guards with. And if I have that weapon available, I will, I'll do it. Because why not? Gonna have to load in, I guess. Let's swing by and see if we can get him to talk. Though he's not at this location. Let's try this one next. Hopefully he's got something good to sell, because we've got plenty of influence. There he is. Or she, in this case. There's a lot of them here, so... I got an idea. Let's... There we go.
aim is on point right now. Look at that. Oh, man. My aim is on point right now. What is going on? Somebody stop me. I like how she's using a silenced weapon as well. Yes, you found me. Looks like it's your lucky day. We'll see about that. Game console. I'm going to buy that for sure. I don't care if we never use it. The only way to survive in the long term is to have Xbox. Anyone, if you don't have a game console, if you don't have Xbox in your mod, you're just doomed to fail. It's, 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 it's bound to happen. BFG will take it. BML, why not? I'll need the Timberwolf. We'll take all of these, because why not? No way I can fit this. Basically, we're just going to empty out all of our influence. I want this. Better not have to run carrying all this. I'll take all the retraining manuals. Do some trading. Sure. That'll let us polish our characters up. Let me check one more for anything else I might have missed. Sure. Don't really want any of that stuff. And it looks good to me. So let's head back. That was definitely a lot of influence we spent, but... I mean, we're basically just systematically going from play guard area to play guard area, and we're going to earn a ton of influence back from a result of that. And also, we were capped on influence, and that was it was a kind of a huge waste. So this allows us to, it also just lets us work towards something. I like having a goal to work towards. And it also means any characters that we want to keep... We can really polish up their skills and get them the skills they want. And, uh, what, if one of them's a shooting manual, let me see... No, none of them are shooting manuals. If we have a shooting manual, technically we could retrain somebody into assault and try to kick a Plague Heart to death, if that's even possible. Look at this, we're almost out of fuel again. This place just loses fuel so quickly at this place. Where do I need to go? Okay, we just need to follow this area. Oh no! No, you don't. No, you don't. Whoa, 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 whoa. A lot of freaks in that area. I had to go out and, like, clean the area up a bit. Why is that building not revealed? I guess the building is just shy. Day 31, so that's, what, 69 days to go? How's it going? Means I gotta update the countdown. Throw all this stuff in the back. And let's climb on my fancy schmancy red talon outpost. Turn off my light. And let me not, I'm not going to have too much of a closeout because I want to save my daylight, but we killed play guards with really weird techniques, some of them better than others. The stabbing obviously took quite a bit of an effort, but nevertheless, obviously, it did get stabbed eventually. Would have been way faster if we had some close combat due to the faster melee speed, but yep, we still got more to go. Remember to comment down on the pin thread, specifically in the pin thread, because... If you just comment anywhere else, it will be much harder for me to find 
It'd be much harder for me to find it. Anyways, that is that. Like this episode. If it was fun watching me try to stab a stupid playguard to death, subscribe for future State of 2 content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.